All right, guys, so pretty late uh, at the time for making this video right quick, guys. Um, but whatever it is, what it is, you know, never too late to really make one. Uh, congratulations to all the Ravens fans, um, you know, out there. Um, you guys absolutely deserve this win. You kicked the shit out my bills. I, it's just nothing I can... There's, again, I, I, I'm not going to sit up here and just yell and it just... Compl I'm not going to do that. I don't have the energy to waste uh, sometimes. And it's just based off of what happened yesterday with, with, with my Crimson Tide and just... You know, my, I'm losing my voice on the, with that game and just how like chaotic that was. I, I just I'm not gonna I don't have the energy to just rant and rave on the Buffalo Bills. We just got outplayed, you know. And, and like I said, it's it's not. I mean, we made a lot of mistakes in this football game, but sometimes, man, you got kicked in the mouth on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Your linebackers got absolutely throttled. Like today, you know, Balen Specter and Dorian Williams look like backup linebackers. Nicholas Morrow looked like he doesn't even belong on the roster. Um, Cam Lewis at the nickel spot, I thought, you know, at the nickel spot, didn't really have a great game. Um, you know, tackling was piss poor. Patrick Ricard at, at the fullback position was just opening up holes left and right. They would run heavy, like heavy run sets, and it was just nothing you can really do about it. I mean, our, our line of scrimmage wise, like I said, we got our ass kicked on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Osiris Torrance had the worst game I think I've ever seen him play. David Edwards got his ass kicked. I mean, got his ass kicked today. Spencer Brown got his ass kicked today. I mean, there's there's really not that much I can really say otherwise other than Joe Brady. If you ever pull some shit like that, man, I swear, if you ever pull some shit like that, you're gonna have the entire Bills Mafia come fuck up your day, right? I'm not gonna go. I like and and, I, and that's just the soft way of putting it, right? That's the soft way of putting it. Joe Brady, if you pull some shit like that again, man, you may not have a job. Because that was incredible. That was one of the dumbest play calls I think I have ever seen. Why you would call that play on that Ravens defense, especially the way that the Ravens defense was already lined up, where was already lined up, it just did not make sense for the, the situation in, in itself made no sense to even call it. You just got the ball back. It's twenty-one to ten. You got the momentum on your side, and you decided to go cute with well, with trying with trying to run. A I don't even know what the fuck that was. I don't know if that was supposed to be like an end around sort of throw or maybe some sort of like double reverse. But whatever that shit was, it was terrible. That was one of the worst play designs I've ever seen. And yes, there's trick plays that if it that if it hits, we'll say, oh my god, that's genius. No, and for that that point in that instance, it made no sense. I had I had I had friends that were at the Ravens game, right? That are Ravens fans that were like, we're call it like we're hitting me up, like yo Jay. I have no idea what you were trying to do with that play call, but I that was one of the worst, dumbest shit play calls I've ever seen. I'm like, yeah, dude, I know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, that in my that to me killed the momentum of the game, right? We already we were down 21 to three. We came back, got a stop on, got a stop on Lamar Jackson, got the ball back, scored right, scored a touchdown because Josh Allen made, made one of the craziest throws you'll ever see 50 yards across his body while falling out of bounds to to to, to, hit, to hit Khalil Shakir and then all of us you know we drive and we score a touchdown all of a sudden now all of a sudden now you force Lamar all of a sudden now you do a great job of sending a lot of pressure right something that we should have done in the first half instead of playing that shitty ass cover too high and disgu and disguising a lot of our coverages without really sending a lot of extra pressure without sending a lot of extra men onto Lamar Jackson instead we played a lot of three or four man rush try to disguise a lot of uh, a lot of our coverage played a lot of too high like we like we did the first you know played a lot of too high and let Lamar Jackson just sit whatever the, you know he just sit whatever the hell he wants to do and Derrick Henry just absolutely you know act Derrick Henry was Derrick Henry tonight obviously but like we just we made adjustments defensively we got the ball back, and e and we're driving down the field. We're on the forty-seven yard line. If you can just get in field goal range and tie the game up, like you're you're down by one score. Like to me, I thought that that was going to be a drive. I'm like, okay, this is four down territory. This is a great opportunity for us to climb back and get back in the football game and, and get the momentum swinging our way. And instead, you decided to call one of the dumbest play calls that the entire NFL fandom is clowning the Buffalo Bills on. Like, this is, it was stupid. Joe And Joe Brady, please don't do any dumb shit like that again. Otherwise, I'm telling you, it is not going to look good for you. Let's just say that. It will not be good for you if you do some dumb shit like that. And it's not a threat coming from me, man. Bills Mafia on Facebook and on Twitter and social, all social media platforms, 
they are they are saying much worse shit than I am. So please don't look look at that as a threat because I trust me, I ain't gonna do shit to you. But yeah, guys. I mean, other than that, we got our ass kicked. I mean, there's just no other way of putting it. There's just no other way of putting it. We got our ass kicked. Um, I, I hated the defensive. I hated the initial defensive game plan for this game because the type of defense that we were playing, um, that we were trying to play with, does not work on a team like Baltimore. This is a team that is predicated on running the football, a lot of RPO based, a lot of RPO based op- uh, uh, a lot of RPO based concepts, a lot of and, and running some play action. But this is one of the best rushing teams in the National Football League for a reason. This is a team that, from a personnel standpoint, they are designed for ground and pounding your ass on the dirt. Whether if it's with Lamar, whether if it was with Derrick Henry, the way that their offensive line is built, the way that they have, the way that they utilize a lot of 12, 13 personnel, the way that Pat, Patrick, uh, the, way, the, the, the way that they utilize the fullback, kind of the old traditional way. Like, this is a team that is a bru- like they are a bruising football team. And you cannot play. Like we're playing against the Miami Dolphins by just playing a shit ton of co- by just playing a shit a shit ton of too high and just disguising a lot of your coverages and dropping them back inside dropping them back into the deep third cloud or the hook like that it's not going to work. And I understand that you don't trust your safeties because it's pretty obvious that you don't trust your safeties, and you really want to kind of help them out. But at the same time, it allowed Derrick Henry it allowed Derrick Henry to do what he needed to do. It allowed. Uh, their fullback and their tight ends to get to 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 really get ahead to 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 just absolutely just annihilate and create and create those huge gapping holes for Derrick Henry to run through or create a lot of protection for Lamar Jackson because he was he was barely even touched today. And then when you did try to crash down, guess what they're going to do? It's going to set up play action again. A lot of RPO based concepts, a lot of kind of delayed runs it was just it we could not have an we just didn't have an answer and when we thought we did joe brady fucked it up by ruining the momentum and then baltimore just did whatever they wanted to do again as soon as they were able to get the ball back because there was no pressure on them this time but we were all played just plain and simple you know baltimore's defense did a phenomenal phenomenal job i thought kyle hamilton was you know kyle hamilton was amazing he was literally all over the football field Literally all over the football field, but they they eliminated the screen game, they eliminated our tight ends, they eliminated the they, they eliminated the screen game. It was and then their interior, I, club, Jesus, Travis Jones, and it was a monster. It just ruined uh, Edwards. Just ruined him. Um, it was we. This is nothing, this is just nothing much I can say. We just got outplayed, out physical, out schemed. I mean, they just they they whooped their ass, plain and simple. So. We got Houston next week. Um, I'm a little worried about the run game because, and, and, and again, I don't know if Joe Mixon's going to come back, but if this is going to be a similar situation where we're aiming up in the run game, th- it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a long day against the Houston team that can throw the football. Now, again, you don't have to play a lot of that contained sort of defense um, against against CJ Shroud because he's not the most mobile quarterback in the world, but he is dangerous. Uh, this is a team with better receivers that even though yes Buffalo's defense is more suited to playing against Houston it's still a, that again Houston they are capable of running it if Joe Mixon is available and even with their backups there I think that they still are capable of really kind of ruining Buffalo's night or Buffalo's day when they, if they go to Houston so we'll see what happens man but yeah guys Week, week, you know, week five, we got our ass kicked, and we'll see what happens uh, next week when we go to Houston. So, hope you guys enjoy. Congratulations, Raven fans. I'll catch you guys later.